நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் சமீபத்தில் நான் பேசின தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கில மொழிபெயர்ப்போட ஆங்கிலத்தில் பேசப்பட்டு தீபா அவர்களால் பேசப்பட்டு மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு நல்ல வரவேற்பை பெற்று வருகின்றன அப்படிங்கிறது எல்லோருக்குமே தெரியும் கிட்டத்தட்ட நாற்பதுக்கும் மேற்பட்ட வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் என்னுடைய தமிழ் வீடியோக்கள் ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்த்து போடப்பட்டு வருகின்றன மிகுந்த வரவேற்பு எல்லோருமே நல்லா வெல்கம் பண்ணுறீங்க தெரியுது இப்பொழுது ஏற்கனவே நான் பேசிய பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒவ்வொரு தனித்தனி கிரகங்கள் அதாவது பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் சூரியன் சந்திரன் செவ்வாய் ராகு உள்ளிட்ட ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் எந்த நிலையில் எப்படி இருந்தால் நல்ல பலன்களை தரும் என்பதை பேசிய ஒரு மிகுந்த வரவேற்பை பெற்ற பன்னிரெண்டு லக்ன வீடியோக்கள் இப்போது ஒவ்வொன்றாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு அடுத்தடுத்து உங்களுக்கு வர இருக்கிறது இதில் இன்னொரு சிறப்பு என்னென்னா அவ்வப்போது உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் பேசிய சில விளக்கங்கள் சில சூற்றுமங்களை கூட தீபா அவர்கள் வந்து இந்த நடுவில் இந்த பனிரெண்டு லக்னங்களுக்கும் ஒன்பது கிரகங்கள் தனித்தனியே என்ன பலன்களை செய்யும் என்ற ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு நடுவே என்னுடைய உயர்நிலை வகுப்புகளில் நான் சொன்ன கருத்துக்களையும் இணைத்து தனித்தனி வீடியோவாக வெளியிட இருக்கிறார்கள் வழக்கம் போலவே இந்த ஆங்கில வீடியோக்களுக்கு உங்களுடைய வரவேற்பு இருக்கும் என்பதை நம்புகிறேன் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of our renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. In my last video I explained the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Gemini ascendant. Now let me explain the effect of sun in different houses for the native of Cancer ascendant. When sun resides in Cancer that is ascendant house it is good to a certain level. So far I told you that when sun resides in ascendant house it is not good but here I say it is good to a certain level you have to make further predictions based on the strength of the moon that is you have to check the light energy of the moon since the lord of second house is in first house the native will be interested in earning money since sun is the lord of second house which signifies wealth is in the ascendant house itself the native's thoughts will be always inclined towards earning money when sun resides in ascendant house for native of cancer ascendant it will do certain benefits when it is subhatwa it will give certain growth in the profession provided it is subhatwa that is when it has connection with venus etc Having said all these when sun resides in ascendant house for the native of cancer ascendant it is good Now let us see the effects of sun in second house to the ascendant house The second house to the house of cancer is Leo and here when sun resides in second house it resides in own house it is an added benefit when second house lord is in the second house itself which is house of wealth it is a very good position provided sun is subhatwa sun is a planet that can deliver benefits for the native of cancer ascendant because sun is a friendly planet to the moon the friendly planets to moon are sun mars and jupiter These are the planets that can deliver immense benefits to native of Cancer ascendant. When sun is subhatwa and resides in second house it is good. In house of Virgo it will not deliver such worse effects. Because second house lord is in the second house to its own house Leo. And sun resides in a house where the house lord Mercury treats the sun as its the most friendly planet 
Please remember the third house is also a Upachaya Sthana. Therefore, for the native of Cancer Ascendant, when Sun resides in third house, it is good. Well, what about Sun in fourth house, which is Libra? Sun gets debilitated in house of Libra. Based on the rule that a malefic can reside in a quadrant, this position is okay. Apart from the status of debilitation, sun should not be Pabatva, that is, it should not be in connection with Saturn or Rahu. When sun is not Pabatva in house of Libra, it will not deliver very bad effects. When sun, being a malefic, resides in quadrant house, it is of course auspicious. What is the consequence of the debilitation of Sun in house of Libra? When a planet has not attained Sthanabala and is debilitated, then it will deliver its effects at a reduced level. Definitely Sun should not be Pabatva. When a planet is debilitated, Though it is not considered to be auspicious, it will not deliver harmful effects. When sun resides in fourth house and has got Subhatva as well, then it will deliver benefits. When sun is Parivartan, then you cannot consider that sun is debilitated. Now let me explain the position of sun in fifth house. This is not a good position because a malefic should not be in the fifth house. The fifth house to ascendant is Scorpio. Since the house lord of Scorpio is Mars, sun will curb its tail, yet this is not a good position. A malefic should not reside in the trine house. Sun that resides in Scorpio will not deliver any great benefits. Indeed, Sun will spoil the fifth house effects. When Sun is in ascendant house, it will spoil a little and when Sun is in fifth house, it spoils the fifth house effects. When Sun resides in fifth house, you cannot consider that Lord of second house which signifies wealth is in the fifth house because sun is a malefic. Since Scorpio is a neutral house to sun, it is sort of okay. There will be some shortcomings in case of progeny or children. When sun resides in Sagittarius, which is sixth house to the ascendant house, it is good. As per Bhavat Bhavam, Sun resides in 5th house to its own house Leo. When Sun resides in 6th house to ascendant house in Sagittarius, which is house of Jupiter, it will not deliver such worse effects. The position of Sun in 6th house to ascendant house is better than its position in 5th house, which is Scorpio. When Sun resides in Sagittarius, it will definitely deliver more benefits when compared to its position in 5th house in Scorpio. If you have observed or have done any research on the natal charts of the native of Cancer Ascendant who were born during the month of Margari, that is Margashirsa, mid-December to mid-January, Sun will not deliver any worse effects because Sun resides in house of Jupiter and 6th house is the Upachaya Sthana. You see, sometimes I consider certain Upachaya Sthanas not favorable and certain Upachaya Sthanas to be favorable. For the native of Gemini Ascendant, I said the third house which is also Upachaya Sthana is more favorable and for the native of cancer ascendant i say sixth house is more favorable which is also a upajaya sthana in order to make accurate and spontaneous predictions you have to understand the concept of subhatva and pabhatva
and you have to combine all these with the concept of upajaya sthanas for the native of cancer ascendant sixth house will not deliver very worse effects and planets that reside in sixth house will not deliver such worse effects in addition to this if sun resides in its own star that is uttiradam that is uttarashada and also in vargotama then sun will deliver added benefits for the native of cancer ascendant when sun resides in seventh house that is in capricorn it will spoil the seventh house this is already a house of saturn and sun resides in capricorn and sun resides in sixth house to its own house leo which is the second house to ascendant house this is not considered to be favorable when lord of second house is in seventh house it sometimes leads to second marriage you have to check the lord of 11th house in order to finalize your prediction for marriage when sun which is lord of second house is in seventh house it is possible for a second marriage when sun resides in aquarius that is the 8th house it is not considered to be good though it aspects its own house leo sun being a luminous planet should not be in the 8th house that too in house of saturn when sun resides in capricorn which is the 7th house to ascendant house it is not considered to be good however when sun resides in the 8th house for the native of cancer ascendant in aquarius it is worse than the planetary position in capricorn because sun resides in the house of a malefic here and as per bhavat bhavam as well it is not good if only sun becomes subhatva it can deliver benefits otherwise it merely strengthens the house let me explain about effect of sun in the next house that is ninth house for the native of cancer ascendant pisces is the ninth house for the native of cancer ascendant when sun resides in ninth house which is pisces in house of jupiter it delivers karaho bhavanasi when sun is subhatva then it will not affect the father when sun is subhatva that is like a connection uh, with venus or conjunction of venus in house of pisces then it will not affect father in case when sun is pabatwa it will definitely affect the father as per bhavat bhavam even when sun which is lord of second house resides in ninth house which is the trine house it is not considered to be good what is the reason can you please tell me because sun is a malefic and it should not reside in the trine house when sun resides in 10th house that is house of mars it gets exalted which delivers immense benefits this is the house where sun gets both sthana bala and digbala directional strength together there is a proverb which says too much of even a good thing is harmful based on this when sun gets both sthana bala and digbala together it is not considered to be good on certain aspects there is a difference between when saturn is exalted in the 7th house and when sun gets exalted in the 10th house when saturn is exalted in the 7th house it gains digbala that is directional strength as well and it spoils the 7th house completely because saturn is 100% malefic when sun gets exalted in 10th house and gains digbala as well based on the concept that sun is 50% malefic and 50% benefic it will definitely deliver certain benefits like leadership positions jobs in fields of electricity or the person will take 
um, engineering divisions such as ECE, that is electrical and electronics communication, or jobs in handling the electrical gadgets or appliances. Sun will deliver immense benefits when it is Subhatva in the 10th house. Based on the concept that 2nd house Lord is in 10th house and there is a connection between 2nd house and 10th house, whatever predictions I have mentioned earlier for the connection of 2nd house and 10th house will apply here. When Sun is in 10th house, that is in house of Aries, where it gets exalted, it gets both Sthanabala and Digbala and it can deliver benefits. In addition to this, if it has connection with Venus or if it has aspect of Jupiter, that is to sum up a connection of a natural benefit, then Sun will deliver more immense benefits. When Sun resides in 11th house to the ascendant house, it is considered to be auspicious. Here you have to definitely consider the concept that second house Lord is in the 11th house. This planetary position is considered to be very auspicious. What is the reason? Here there is a connection of second house, 9th house and 11th house. And 11th house. Can you tell me how? As per Bhavad Bhavam, Sun will be in 9th house to its own house and in 11th house to ascendant house which is considered to be very auspicious. This implies that the native is going to become a multi-millionaire. Here there is a possibility that the dispositor that is house lord Venus can be exalted. Sun resides in house of Venus and Venus gets exalted in house of Pisces. Then Sun delivers immense benefits and in addition to this, when Sun gets the connection of Jupiter, like aspect of Jupiter, it delivers immeasurable benefits. All these will happen during the major planetary period of Sun. When Sun is in the 12th house to the ascendant house, that is in house of Gemini, it will not deliver such harmful effects. Though this is the house of Gemini, Sun should not be in 12th house to the house of ascendant house because a luminous planet should not reside in the 12th house. Yet it can deliver certain benefits. There is a shortcoming when second house Lord resides in 12th house which is house of expenses. The second house lot should not be in 12th house. There will be definitely some negative effects in terms of money. This is all about effects of sun in different houses for the native of Cancer Ascendant. Well, in my next video, I am going to explain about the effects of sun in different houses for the native of Leo Ascendant. Needless to say, I am going to share a lot of intricacies of astrology. Well, this is question time. For the native of Cancer Ascendant, when Lord of 2nd house resides in 7th house, is there a chance of second marriage? Please write your answers in the comment section of this video. In the description box, we have added the playlist link of all English videos so far published. The link of Aditya Guruji's website is given below in description box of this video that is accessible by both iOS and Android users. The link of Google Play Store app is also given in the description box that is available for only Android users. The Tamil version of this video is also available. Please check the description box and write your feedback to astro.writetous at gmail.com. Thank you.